Hey guys, it's Gabby, and welcome to part one of our series on Fallout. The Fallout universe is filled with many unique scientific and technological concepts, and today we're going to be focusing on FEV. The FEV, which stands for Forced Evolutionary Virus, is described as a major source for mutation, being the go-to tool for creating super mutants, along with a few other sufficiently disturbing creatures. Here's a quick rundown. The FEV was created in an effort to engineer an advanced form of immunity in humans, in response to worries of biological warfare during the Great War. After realizing the side effects of the virus resulted in increased muscle mass and brain activity, the government decided to use it for more than just disease immunity, and began trying to use it to create super soldiers. As with most things in the Fallout world, this backfired and became somewhat disastrous. Apparently, the FEV works by copying the host cell's DNA, like RNA, and then placing it into exons that are then reintroduced into the host cells alongside pre-programmed introns. Exons are sections of genes that contain the final specific DNA sequences that correspond to different proteins. So essentially the virus works by manipulating the sequences within these exons in order to change or mutate the result that they code for. The FEV is described as having a protein sheath, which is likely referring to what is known as a capsid. Capsids are basically just protein shells that protect the genetic information within a virus and help the virus deliver it to its host. Additionally, the FEV typically results in sterility for those that it infects, which is the result of the virus interpreting haploid cells as damaged and then removing them. Our reproductive cells, which are known as gametes, are haploid cells, meaning they only contain half the usual amount of chromosomes that our non-reproductive cells or somatic cells contain. Our gametes are designed that way to increase genetic variation. It's the reason that you're technically a perfect mix of each of your parents. Each parent provides half of your total chromosomes, aka 23 from one parent and 23 from the other. Without working gametes, an organism cannot reproduce, as is the case with most FEV recipients. So there you have it, a quick rundown of FEV. Let us know what you guys thought, and be sure to look out for our part two.